Hi everyone, I'm Rachel. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to color a realistic decolletage using the Color Therapy app. To color a realistic neck, shoulders, and chest, work in subtle layers using the airbrush and smear tool. You'll want to start off with a large brush size and work your way down to a smaller size as you go. You can find this image under Art, Girly Tattoos. So I want to start off by showing you the reference I'm working from. So you can see how the lighting is very dramatic, but yet at the same time, the shading is very subtle. So we want to define the clavicles, the neck muscles and ligaments and part of the shoulders and the chest. So the first thing you want to do is tap to fill in the entire image with a skin shade that you like. I'm going to be using the second color on the top row of the skin shades palette. I'm just tapping to fill it all in. The reason why I'm doing this is so that when I use the smear tool later, it doesn't bring in other colors I don't want. Next, go to the airbrush tool. You'll want to set the size to 75 to start and the opacity at 20. Set coloring inside the lines mode to off. Now choose a color to shade. So I'm going to use the third color on the second row to the right, sort of a medium to dark brown. I'm going to follow the lines that I see that are already there so on this side of the neck there's a line here and there there's some lines for the clavicles just following those I'm gonna make it a bit darker on the right side because the light from my reference is shining from the bottom left so it's gonna be darker on the right you also want to shade in between the arms and the chest in between where the cleavage is and also where the other arm is too and then you can start to sort of outline where the shoulders are and underneath where the neck is. You can make the right side a little bit darker since we have more shadow there. Now lower the size down to 45 and the opacity can be at 25. Now I want to choose a much darker color for the shadows. So I'm going to use the fifth color on the second row of the skin shades palette. And I'm going to shade just the right side where I see the shadows. So, um, to the right of the neck and above the clavicle and then in between the arm and then just go to the color next to that dark color so it's like a medium brown and continue shading and this time we're just sort of redefining the lines we just did on the left and right side now i'm going to use the first color on the last row of the skin shades palette so it's sort of a medium brown dark brown zooming in i'm going to start to outline some details such as the clavicle so going around there Notice there's a more of a shadow right here on this clavicle and the shadow is kind of coming up from where the arm is meeting up with the top of the chest. Now let's use the smear tool before I move too much further. Let's set the intensity at 100 and the size at 30. Now we're just going to lightly blend all of our lines here. So making them nice and smooth. Zooming into the neck from my reference, I can see that there's some shadows right here on the neck coming down. So I'm kind of just using the smear tool as my shading tool as well as a blending tool. I'm pushing and pulling the colors. So I'm using this to define those ligaments and muscles in the neck. And then you can also raise the size all the way up to 100 for larger areas that you want to smear, such as the chest and where the arms are. So the smear tool works really well to really blend and smear in those colors. Some areas you even want to just tap your finger and it really feathers those edges nicely so we have a subtle shadow. Now select the skin tone by sampling it and go ahead and redefine those clavicles. So it'll just go back to the airbrush and you can just um, redraw them in there if you kind of lost them. Now select the very darkest color in that palette, set the size to 12 and opacity at 20. Now we want to add in our darkest shadows. So that will be on the right side of the left clavicle in between the arms, the cleavage under the neck and on the right side of the neck. Choose the smear tool again, set the intensity at 100 and size at 40 and just blend the cleavage shadow that you just made into the chest softly as well as the arms. And that's it. From here, you can tap to fill in the rest of the colors. Check out my other tutorials on how to color the lips and face. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.